By the end of Year 5, you need to be able to read and write numbers up to at least a million. In order to do this, you need to understand that the value of the digit depends on whereabouts in the number it is. For example, in this number, 1,254,976, the 6 is in the 1's column, the 7 is in the 10's column, the 9 is in the 100's column, the 4 is in the 1,000's column, the 5 is in the 10's of 1,000's column, the 2 is in the 100's of 1,000's column, and the 1 is in the millions column. Using this knowledge, we can then write any number up to a million. For example, if we were to write the number 708,056, we think about what columns those digits would go in. As we've got 708,000, a 7 here because we've got 700,000, we've got no tens of thousands, and we've got 8,000. This gives us 708,000. To do 56, we've got no hundreds, we've got 5 tens, and 6 ones. To help us read and write numbers, it may be useful to put commas in. In order to do this, we work from the right hand side, from the ones column, so move in one, two, three places and put in our comma in there. This then helps us read the number as 708,056. We can do this with the number above, move in one, two, three and put in our comma in here and then one, two, three again and move in our comma in here to help us read the number one million. 254,976. We can then use this knowledge for something else we need to be able to do and that is to be able to order and compare numbers to a million as well. In order to do this we look at our numbers and firstly decide how many digits are in those numbers. This number here 58,569 has more digits in than the others so therefore that must be our biggest number. A common misconception is to look at the first digit and decide which is the biggest number. In this case it would be a 6, but what we need to be careful of is the fact that this number is only 6,959, so it's not as big as our 58,000 over here. Once we have numbers that are all the same size, we can now look at um, which is the largest number. This one here has 6,000, but these two numbers have got 5,000, so this number must be our next biggest. These numbers both have 5,000, so now we move along to the next column. This number has 700s, this number has 600s, therefore the bottom number here, 5,789, must be the next biggest number. And lastly, 5,675. You need to be able to count forwards or backwards in steps of powers of 10 for any given number up to a million. So using 3,654 as an example, you may be asked to count backwards in multiples of 10, which would give us answers of 3,644, 3,634, 3,624 and so on. Or you may be asked to count in multiples of 100 going forwards, which with this number we would end up with 3,754, 3,854, 3,954, and 4,054, etc. When counting forwards and backwards, this also includes going through into negative whole numbers. So, if, for example, if we were to count backwards in multiples of 1,000 from this number, we would end up with 2,654, 1,654, 654, minus 346, minus 1,346, and so on. You also need to be able to round any number up to a million to the nearest 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, and 100,000. Just like in the previous video where we looked at how to round to the nearest 10, 100, and 1,000, if we were rounding to the nearest 10,000, we look at the column on the right-hand side of that, which in this case would be the 6. We look to see if it's more or less than 5. To help us practice our counting, we can look at what it would be if we rounded down and what it would be if we rounded up. Here we're rounding to our nearest 10,000. So if we were to round down, we would round down to 340,000. And if we were to round up, we would go to 350,000. As our 6 is more than our 5, we're going to round up to 350,000. If we were rounding to the nearest 100,000, if we were to round down in this case, we would round to 300,000. And if we were to round up, we would round up to 400,000. Again, 
as we're looking at hundred thousands, we're looking at a column to our right hand side, which is the four in the tens of thousands column. As that four is less than our benchmark of five, we would round down to 300,000. Finally, you need to be able to read Roman numerals to a thousand and recognize years written in Roman numerals. As there are lots of different rules for Roman numerals, I've put a link at the bottom of this page with lots of the information to help you with them. However, the basic ones that you need to remember is I is 1, V is 5, X equals 10, L equals 50, C equals 100, D equals 500, and M equals 1000. If you can remember these, all the other Roman numerals that you'll come across consist of these in some way.